Across the world celebrate the end of Ramadan, we look at the persecution suffered by Pakistan's Ahmadis. They consider themselves Muslim, but many Pakistanis consider them heretics. Over the weekend, a mob killed three Ahmadis amid allegations of blasphemy. This the latest in a series of attacks on the minority religious community. Mandakin Agalo reports. Ramadan took a tragic turn for Nabila and her family. On July 14th, armed men broke into the family's store looking for Nabila's husband. A man got off a motorcycle. He shook hands with my husband. He took him outside the store and that's when they shot him four times in the head. Ever since, the family lives in fear of similar attacks. They are Ahmadis, a reformist Islamic movement born in the 19th century, founded by Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, a man that the Ahmadis consider a prophet. Armed men guard this mosque at prayer time. Pakistani law declares that all Ahmadis are non-Muslims. For an Ahmadi to proclaim otherwise would invite a charge of blasphemy, a crime punishable by death. The Ahmadis not only face severe discrimination at the hands of the state, but are also regularly targeted by religious extremist groups. Nabila's husband is buried in a cemetery in Rabwa, a town where 95% of the population are Ahmadis. For 10 days, the whole family took refuge here. Now they hope Nabila will soon be able to leave Pakistan and join her sister in England. He was threatened for almost a year. Then he received a death threat phone call just two days before he was killed. I have no one here, just my father-in-law, and he is very old. There is no future in Pakistan for my children. We're really not safe here. In the last 30 years, over 200 Ahmadis have been killed. Perpetrators are rarely brought to justice. Some groups openly call for violence against the community. Amongst the most extreme are members of Khatmi in Abuvat. For them, the fight against Ahmadis is a moral necessity, a crime that does not deserve to be condemned. If someone has immense love for the Prophet, and if his love for the Prophet causes him to take some kind of extreme action, then we see it as an individual act. After all, how can a good Muslim endure such blasphemy? Our group respects the law. For us, such an act is neither good nor evil. But if someone decides to take action, it's not a bad thing. It's a personal choice. Salimuddin is the spokesman of the Ahmadi community. He wants to show us the grave of Abdus Salam, the only Pakistani Nobel Prize winner. On her gravestone, the word Muslim has been erased. Salimuddin believes that the Ahmadis will continue to be persecuted until their rights are guaranteed by law. As long as on television shows, during conferences and political meetings, you'll have people who keep on saying publicly that it's okay, that it's lawful to kill an Ahmadi, while such targeted murders will continue to multiply. Attacks against minorities are on the rise in Pakistan. In 2014 alone, over a dozen Ahmadis were murdered. That's it for Focus and that's it from me for now. Do stay tuned to France 24.